Goodbye! Good luck! Good night! Don't forget to drink lots of water! And be sure to bundle up! That sure was fun. You don't think so? I don't know what I think. Well, I had a swell time. All those pleases and thank yous, it was nice, you know? I wish it could be like that all the time. We're almost at the tip top! Come on, Slowpoke! Careful! You're gonna yank my arm out of my socket! Oh. Painted a sight for sore eyes. Very sore. Me too,
Maybe. Kali, you sure do have a lot of pride, Missy. Don't assume things so much. You'll turn out like Yosemite. Sure, it's okay to take that off. Yep, folks usually don't come up here once it's dark. Come on, take a load off. It's wild, comfy. Mountain air really helps you get back to nature. Aren't you technically nature? <laughs> That's different, you goofball. This here is my special place. Special... place? Yeah, everyone's gotta have a special place. I bet you have one too. is my special place. Phew! Can't argue with that kind of gumption now, can I? Golly, I almost forgot! I gotta do laundry! Well, unless you take us home, there's not a whole lot you can... Never mind. Yosemite is gonna bust a gasket if I don't get this done! Eve, quick! Say something super mean to me! Nothing you do will ever be appreciated or acknowledged. It's pointless. That's really heavy. Pointless, just like your existence. If you think about it, if you keeled over tomorrow, your impact on the world would basically amount to nothing. I guess the worms would appreciate. Nucky, 
it off! You're just being nasty now. You... You... Big bully! So does that mean it's working? Uh-huh. Now it's just gotta stay like this for a little while. And you have to do this every time you need to do laundry? Without all the waterworks, but it's slow as molasses. That sounds exhausting. been a bit of a crybaby anyway. In fact, the first thing I can remember is waking up and crying right over there. In the bushes. my birthday suit to boot. That's just asking for trouble. I didn't have much of a choice. Once I woke up, I spent a long time on my own. keeping track of the days, but then there was this huge blizzard and I lost my spot. I was brushing up against 10,000, though. No way! You wandered around Yellowstone National Park naked and alone for decades? Naked? I would have frozen my tiny hiney off years ago. You see, there was this nice gal who was out camping. I can't remember if she saw me first or if I stumbled on her. It's been so long, I don't even know what she looks like. But I do remember that she lent me her clothes. And that it was the first time I wasn't alone. Being alone out in the woods for a couple years doesn't sound too bad don't have to deal with other people, at least. That's the thing. I didn't even know other people existed. Well, maybe I did. Somewhere in the back of my noggin. But I sure hadn't seen him before. 
You're a lot like Yosemite. I am certainly not! It's true, though. You both gotta have your alone time. That's dandy and all, but for a gal like me, it was so... 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 Uh, ah, dope AF! I'd never felt something like that before. It made me feel all kinds of warm and fuzzies, so I kept going out and looking for more people. Wouldn't people be... Spooked? I was going to say mortified, but that works. As sure as the sun would rise. But if they stuck around long enough, I'd try to help them out. Bring them kindling wood or grub, things like that. Sometimes they'd even talk to me. But in the end, they'd always pack up and leave, and I'd be alone again. It was like that. It was always like that. Then Zion and Yosemite found me. For the first time since I woke up on this rock, it felt like I had a place to belong. Like a family, you dig? I dig. Suddenly, I wasn't so lonesome anymore. Zion and Yosemite were both so chummy and nice to me, I wanted to do whatever I could to help out around the cabin. Well, good to know Yosemite wasn't always a slave driver. Yosemite didn't used to be a lot of things. Scion too, but in different ways. But now things are just so different. I try my darndest, but Yosemite is such a grump, and Zion can't help out like she used to. It's almost like I'm as lonesome as I was way back when. Is that dumb, Eve? Am I just stinking thinking? I don't think it is. Wipe that look off your face before I take it back. How do I put this? It's like... 
The dumbest, most intrusive thoughts are probably the most honest. If it's in your head, then there's probably a reason for it, right? you get those dumb, implosive thoughts too, Eve? Constantly. Wouldn't have clocked a guy in the face and ended up stationed at the cabin if I didn't. Hot diggity. Actually, I had one of those implosive thoughts today. Ooh, don't keep hanging! Spit it out! So, those campers from earlier? They would have been up a creek without us. Maybe even literally. Them. Yeah. When we were helping them out, one of them said something to me about how her old man used to take her camping before he passed. Wowzers, that's kind of a shocker, seeing as they all look scared of ya. Trust me, I'm not the only one who's shocked. It gave me this weird feeling. Like those warm fuzzies I was talking about? Nah, the opposite. Like, I wanted to puke. Yikes, you really do hate people, huh? That's what I thought. I deal with so many clowns and chuckleheads every day, I could build a circus. But this group wasn't that. They were just good kids. Looking back, a lot of visitors are. At the very least, they can shut up and follow directions. They're like cattle. Round them up and ship them off so I don't have to deal with them. So when one comes along to remind me that she's a real person, it's... A sucker punch? Something like that. I've been doing this way too long. It's rotted me to my core. talk. Sounds to me like you had a bonding moment and you're too chicken to admit it. I am not afraid of admitting anything. Oh yeah? Not even that you had fun helping those campers out? Not even an itsy bitsy teeny weeny bit. Okay, fine, fine, fine. It was sorta nice to help out people who were genuinely enthusiastic. And don't forget grateful. Yeah, that's another one to put on the list. Don't you just wish it could always be like this?
Sure. Wish Pop would crap gold, too, but I think I'll be waiting a while for both of those miracles. Why can't we just make it happen ourselves? What? Uh, what do you mean? The miracles? <laughs> That's a nice thought, but it's about time we head home, don't you think? Why? Who says we have to go home? What are you talking about? Of course we have to go back. Do we, though? Do we really? Okay, whatever you're doing definitely isn't funny. Just take us home now. We've been here long enough. Just think about it, Eve. We can go around helping folks and they'll always appreciate it. And nobody will ever yell at us. get how you feel, but that wasn't. If you get it, then why not? Were you just fibbing when you said all that stuff about people being good? That's not important. I have responsibilities. You have responsibilities. No. Yosemite says I have responsibilities. I only ever wanted to help, but not if nobody cares. You brat. This little crisis you're having? I've been dealing with it every day for the last five years, so don't you even try to lord it over me. Your stunt has already cost me the entire day. My supervisor is never gonna let me hear the end of it. She's going to be asking what caused me to abandon my duties. And the truck, which is government property, I might add. And I'm not going to have anything good to tell her. So the least you can do, literally the absolute least, is take me back like you promised and suck it up like I do. Don't get it. Say that again. No one gets it! Maybe, just maybe, you would understand, but I was wrong. 
You're just like Yosemite! Well, I'm sick of it! Shove my foot so far up your ass, it'll come out that volcano! <laughs> <laughs> 